Assalamu alaikum. Good morning, my friends. Today is day three of our journey, and we are heading towards Shah Risabs, the hometown of the great Tamalay. This road is an ancient caravan road, and we would like to share with you the view and information about different Uzbekistan because mostly people know Uzbekistan about its size, historical heritage. But what you see on this road, you will be amazed how different is the country. The high mountains surrounding this region will show you the real nature of Uzbekistan. Moreover, these are the highest mountains of the region because this is an extension of Pamir mountain range. We are standing at the right of the highest point in the path, which used to be earlier as a main road connecting Samarkand and Shah Risabs. Today here is a small market where farmers bring all the stuff they grow, they collect or they make themselves. If we come closer, we can see with you the herbs which are collected by the farmers from the mountains around which they dry up and the sell which is used in non-traditional medicine in Uzbekistan as well you can see a lot of dry fruits which are for sale here in this market and one of the most popular snacks of Uzbeks a dried yogurt which is well used by the local people as a daily product These entry pylons behind me, the remains of the great palace of Tamerlane, which was constructed in the early 15th century. Look at what we can see here now and imagine what was here before. The height of these pylons almost 30 meters. And this is just the remaining part. The clear story and description of these palace, as well as the stories of Tamerlane, is well described in the book of the Spanish envoy who visited Empire of Tamerlane in the late 14th and early 15th century. The Mr. Rui Gonzalez de Clavijo. If you want to know more about Tamerlane and this palace particularly, please you are welcome to read this book which is translated into the many languages of the world. When you are in Shahrisabs, please do not forget to visit the site where you can buy a small souvenir. This perfect example of a local art, and it has many different examples of a local crafts, including the embroidery. The most famous art of Shahrisabs is an embroidery. And this is the uh, embroidery which is very loved by the travelers. And this is a special stitch which has a significant
traditions of the region. Especially when you look at this craft, you may see a lot of symbols. These symbols to protect human beings from the evil. And this goes deep into the history. So do not forget, while you are in Chakri Sabs, to buy one a small souvenir so you can enjoy your travel in Uzbekistan and memorable souvenirs from Chakri Sabs. So we continue with you exploring Shah Prisafs, the hometown of Tamaling. Right behind me, you may see the grand uh, monuments of Timurids period. By the way, two of these small domes were built by Tamaling and his grandson, Ulubek. The last one became an architect of the perfect mosque, the Blue Dome Mosque, which has uh, one of the biggest domes in Uzbekistan. This complex was built and started by Tamerlane to become a family walled, family necropolis for Timurids. But unfortunately, the plans didn't come true. We saw with you the monument of Timur in Samarkand. Therefore, in Shahrasabs, the empty tomb only is remaining. Amir Timur, the Tamerlane, wanted to be surrounded by his family and sons after he passed away. Unfortunately, only two sons were buried here, the ones who died before him. We may see with you beautiful mausoleum of Jehangir, the first son of Timur. Right in front of it, there used to be a mausoleum of Omar Sheikh, the second son of Timur. And right from the middle, you would come into the courtyard surrounded by family members of Timurids. We saw with you the mausoleum of Timur in Samarkand. So it means here, the empty crypt is only remaining. <laughs> 